Hi everybody, it is that time of the week for... What, stock mortgage. That's right, and first though, we're gonna have a little bit of coffee, then we're gonna talk mortgages, mm -hmm. right? <laughs> cool shirt, right? Um, so we've been a little bit of, on hiatus the last couple weeks since New Year's, <clears throat> because we came down with something that many people have right now. So we hope that you're well and safe and healthy. Fortunately, we are back to as normal as we can be, having been um, virus inflicted for less than 10 days ago. Uh -huh. So um, anyway, but we're, we're back and we just want to continue our series on budgeting, right? So currently of your allowance income, which is your income, right? Uh -huh. How much of your percentage of your income goes to savings? 50%. That's right. $5 a week currently goes to your stock account, right? Which is Stash. That's the app that we use for his stock account <clears throat> because it's easy, right? First mm -hmm. of all, it's it comes automatically out of my checking account. So every single week, $5 goes to his Stash account automatically. And more importantly, of that um, $5, he then gets to decide how much stock you want to buy, right? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and the cool thing about it is it's fractional purchasing. So obviously, $5 is not going to buy you the average share of, say, Microsoft. However, you can do a fractional share, meaning a part of a share. And eventually over time it adds up. And I think actually now you own about one share of Microsoft stock. So congratulations. Well, we've been investing in Microsoft stock. Only. I have been investing in Microsoft for you right mm -hmm. now. Yes. Cool. <clears throat> Normally he makes his own decisions, but of course yesterday I moved some money over because Microsoft did a little dip and the time to buy stuff is when it is low and you know it's gonna go high again, right? A so, big dip, a 68 million, <clears throat> $68 billion dollar dip. Well, that was because they bought Activision. Yeah, they bought Activision. Yeah, so anyway. And they might make they might make Call of Duty Xbox exclusive. Ooh. Which I'm gonna be really mad about. Because he's a PlayStation kid. Anyway, budgets. So of your budget, I, I hear this a lot. People say, well, I just don't have enough money to budget any money for savings. Which so, you do. Which you do. And you have to take some personal responsibility, right? Because, you know, when you used to get your allowance, you took all of it and you spent it, right? And that was not mm -hmm. taking personal responsibility because you were not putting a certain percentage of your income away into savings. Now, obviously, when you only get $10 a week and you were to save $2 a week in savings, that's not a lot of money, but over mm -hmm. time it is. And so, and of course, the average person doesn't get paid $10 a week, thank God. So, you know, That'd be bad. <laughs> yeah, so... So the point is, is that there's a certain formula, Jacob, by which you want to allocate monies to certain bills when you're building up your budget. Mm -hmm. And so because we're in the new year, and of course this is time for New Year's resolutions, right? We want to make sure that everybody knows that formula so that you can budget properly. And I think it's incredibly important to have a budget. Um, you don't know what you're spending if you don't have one. Um, whether you make a little bit of money or a lot of money, you need a budget. It doesn't matter what your income level is. You have to have a budget. So the first number is it's a 50-30-20 rule. Do you want to guess what the 50% rule applies to? What is that 50 part? Your needs. Your needs. That's right. So like, let's give them some examples of needs. Obviously, your rent or your mortgage right, is, is a need. Uh, have shelter. Food, water, electricity. Mm -hmm. Food, water, uh, electricity, yep. Yeah trash service, a car like or a bike to get around. Yep, exactly. Those are all needs um, because you need transportation to get to work mm -hmm. and put a, a roof over your head, right? So those are all your needs. And then, of course, my dad was really good about teaching me the difference between needs versus wants. Um, he used to say, you need jeans, but you don't need guest jeans. <laughs> yeah. And so I never got my guest jeans. Um, so then 30% of your income goes towards... Your wants. Your wants, that's right. And so let's give them some examples of wants. A video game. Mm -hmm. um, your Netflix subscription. Your Netflix want, subscription, which costs your, a lot of money. Your internet technically is a want, but if you work from home, it could be a need. So for me, I work from home sometimes, and he does online schooling, so that's a need, right? We've got to have the internet for that that's to happen. True. We have some pretty, I mean, we have good internet, I don't know. Yeah. But, um, so, so what are some other wants? Other wants are probably, um, like I said, dirt bike. I mean, or any. What like, about like um, uh, you need a car to get around, but you want a Tesla? 
Which you do. Which I do. But do I have a Tesla? No. No, because it is a want. It so any a like, <laughs> any, okay, so any car you don't have that you want. <clears throat> that's expensive. That's expensive. It's probably a need like a few more Porsche. It's a want. Probably a want. It's or, a want. I, I mean, that's a want, yeah. Yeah, it's a want for sure. Because I have a Toyota. I would love to have a Tesla, but a Toyota is, an, is a need because I need to get around and it's a reasonably priced vehicle. And a Tesla is expensive, so it's a want, right? So that's yeah. like, that's on my vision board. Eventually, I would like to have one, and I'm budgeting for it, but I don't have it yet. Um, and then there's the 20 of the 50, 30, 20 rule. Which is and savings. That's savings, exactly. Which is very important. Very important. So there's ways for you to cut back on certain areas to where you could afford to put money in savings. And so, of course, given the fact that I look at bank statements all day long from clients, mm -hmm. right? <laughs> Um, I see a lot of people who don't have any money in savings and you know, I have several savings accounts, so I don't know if you know this or not. Um, we've been kind of talking about budgeting, you know, obviously mm -hmm. offline, but I have a Christmas savings fund and I have a travel va uh, vacation savings fund and I have just my retirement and then college funds. And I have these multiple accounts because then that way that the, the money doesn't get confused and I don't take money away from my Christmas fund for the vacation fund unless I absolutely have to. Um, but I certainly don't take money away from your college fund or your, your education mm -hmm. fund. Um, and, and of course my retirement fund, I don't take money away from my retirement fund in order to go on vacation, right? So I have certain savings accounts set You need aside. your retirement fund. Yes, I do need my retirement fund. So it's really important that people understand that there is ways for you to cut back, right? Mm -hmm. And um, one of the ways that you can cut back really, really easily is, is just check your subscriptions. There's a lot of things that- They add up. That add up, yeah, exactly. Um, another thing that it, it just, it kind of just bothers me to the core is bottled water, right? Especially if you look at some of the bottled water and you see that it's bottled in Keller, Texas, which is means that it's from a water system, like what comes out of your tap. Um, and so, you know, bottled water is expensive and it's quite frankly a waste of money. Now, obviously, if you're in an area where the water tastes nasty or is not a good source of water, then that but might be different. But if you're in an area with, like, let's say a fridge right here. Edwards Aquifer Water, which is amazing. Oh, it's amazing. You don't need to buy water, bottled water. No. So don't waste your money on it. There's no point. Um, plus, it's wasting plastic, right? And that's yeah. not good for our planet. So. And then if you do buy bottled water, at least recycle it. Don't throw it. Just throw it in the trash. Right. Exactly. So um, there's a lot of ways you can cut back. Subscriptions are huge. I mean, I just canceled subs a subscription I completely forgot I had, and it was $10 a month. And that $10 a month could be going towards my vacation fund. It could be going towards the college or the education fund for the kids, retirement, and it all adds up. So it's really important for you to take an assessment of your budget, mm -hmm. take a look at where you're spending your money. I mean, it's really easy. Whip out your credit card statements and your bank statements, and you can see exactly where your money goes. Um, and another area that's huge, and I think you would admit this one because you've been paying attention, is eating out. Eating out bills will eat your lunch. <laughs> because it is expensive. expensive to eat out. And by the time you tip, and then, you know, obviously um, you, your bill adds, adds up. up a lot. And so I highly recommend that you take a look at your eating out budget because you can shave a ton off of that. Um, I have actually, especially during the start of COVID, um, I really cut back on my eating out um, monies. And I tell you what, we have been able to put a lot more money into savings. Um, a couple of hundred bucks a month minimum is what I've noticed that I've been able to save extra because I'm starting to cook at home more, or I have been for a couple of years yeah. now. Sad, right? A couple of years now. Um, but it's just one of those other ways that you can cut back. So, so think of ways you can shave your budget back. Think of ways that you can put more money into savings. Maybe open up a couple of those different savings accounts so that you can, you know, um, have your vacation fund and your and your education fund and your retirement fund and then your play money and Christmas money and stuff like that. And then that way you've got you've got monies budgeted and you're not in a bind. Um, yep. Especially because you need an emergency fund too. We didn't yeah. even talk about that. So, oh yeah. no, we didn't. <laughs> yeah, but we'll talk about that next video. Yeah. So, y'all make it a great day. Thanks so much for yeah. listening. Be sure to subscribe and um, and share the video because not everybody knows about this 50 30 20 rule, right? Nope. That's right. Y'all make it a great day. We hope you're well and safe and healthy and have a wonderful week.